The main ingredients in these sourdough crackers are obviously sourdough starter, which we've got ours that we've had on board for, what, like two, three years now, I think. So it's pretty happy. We definitely do neglect it every so often, but it tends to come right back and get, get nice and bubbly again. So it's not too bad. Um, then we've got some coconut oil. We've got salt, some good spices and seeds to add, some nice fresh herbs from my parents' garden, and of course, flour. Mm-hmm, that smells so good. So we're gonna take our flour first. And we need half a cup of white flour. Now we are going to add the whole wheat flour. Another half a cup, so equal parts. Again, you can choose if you want to do whole wheat or white, but I like the combo. And I'm not too specific with all my measurements when I'm baking or cooking. A lot of the time I look at a couple recipes and then totally change my mind and wing it and do whatever I want with, with what I read. So that's one cup of starter with the flour. We're just gonna mix all the ingredients up together. So I'm going to continue now with the coconut oil. And the coconut oil, um, depending on where you are in the world, it might be solid or it might be liquid. Um, so you kind of want it to be either completely liquid or somewhat soft so you can mix it into the dough and not have like little clumps that are kind of stuck in there. So I melted down the coconut oil and I'm going to just add that to everything else we've got here. And now we've got salt, garlic powder, and chili flakes. With that, we're gonna just mix it around a little bit, get it mixed in, and then once it gets kind of stiff, then we can mix it with our hands. So I found this recipe from this woman on Instagram who's got a awesome blog, and this is one of her recipes off her website. Um, you can check her out at Homestead and Chill com I believe. I'll leave the link in the description below. All right so now you're just gonna knead it till it's got a good smooth consistency and if it feels a little too soft or sticky you can add a little flour and it should be a little bit soft because it's gonna sit in the fridge so I actually made the mistake before of adding too much flour and then they were just really dried out and really stiff when I was trying to roll them out. So that feels about right, I think. One of the two patties out here and I'm gonna just lightly flour underneath and I'm gonna roll it out onto this parchment paper so if you have a real rolling pin use that but here on board we use anything that's round <laughs> so we're just gonna roll out the dough it's gonna take a while especially the you know the first little bit once it once it gets warmed up it'll be easier but one of our little challenges on the boat is rolling things out with our fridge door here because this guy kind of makes a funny imprint on anything you're rolling out so i usually put something underneath and you want it as thin as possible right yeah yeah, so we want it to get to about a sixteenth of an inch thick, so pretty much as thin as you can make it. 
thin as paper. Thin as paper. This must be thin as paper. Next, once we've got this nice and flat and thinned out, we're gonna paint it with some olive oil and then sprinkle a little bit of salt and cut them up into nice little cracker sized pieces and then throw them in the oven. Oh man, this stuff is gonna be good. We'll see how they turn out. Alright, they look good so far. I'm excited. They need to get nice and crispy though. Yeah, I think those are good. Yeah, they're all nice and crispy. And they look great. so good. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if these other ones are ready. Just a little bit longer. Mm -mm -mm. Meanwhile, Jack does this. What? <laughs> Random boat projects. Just checking the electrical system for loose ends, <laughs> literally. I love it. It's great. You're not going to get any more snacks? Yeah, you want more snacks? Yeah. Okay. Right on it. Yeah. Right on it, soldier. Oh, man. Here you go. Mm. Do you approve? Say. See. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's so gourmet. Look, I'll just plop a damn apple on top of it. Now it's French. Ready to pull out this dough from the oven. From the oven. What am I saying? <laughs> Looking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Okay, are you filming? Yeah. All right. Now I, I need to wait for this plane to go by. Might get some close-ups. I didn't want close-ups of your face. I wanted no. close-ups of the cheese and the crackers. 